Today I'm coming to you from Chito, a village in the Volta region and I'm here today because I want to show you a neat little gadget that we have here in most villages and most remote, most remote areas in Ghana. Can anyone guess what this is? Alright, I'm going to give you five seconds. If you can just let me know in the comment section what you think this little gadget is and what it does. So, alright. Let me know in the comment section. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and tell you what this is. This is an iron and it's very common in most villages and in most remote areas. And what this does is that it has an open and close mechanism. So this little chicken you see up here opens and closes it up. So right now it's open. Now it's closed, right? And you put charcoal in here. And once it gets hot, you use it to iron your clothes. And this little stand is what the charcoal sits on. And the stand sort of blocks these holes so it's such that the ash doesn't come out but of course if the ash does start coming out you just like you just lock it up and shake it that's oh sorry i don't know what happened there yeah you shake it and then the ash will come out from the sides but that's basically what this device is it's an iron so today i'm going to walk you through the entire process i'm going to start the, the fire in a coal pot and then i'm going to transfer the fire from the coal pot into this little gadget and then we're gonna go, go ahead and iron a shirt we'll iron a white shirt and I chose to iron a white shirt because I want to see if it's gonna stain the shirt and then I want to see how crisp and well ironed the shirt is going to look so that's that's the reason why I chose a white shirt but this this so this gadget is essentially just an iron and I think it's, it's a pretty neat device many years ago it was very common these days it's not as common but you can still find it around. I think these days as the world is developing, some people may not find the need for this. But in Ghana, I think it's still a pretty cool thing to have around. Because you might just need it. Alright, so let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and start the fire now. I'm going to leave this guy here. I'm going to start the fire. And then we'll transfer the coal into this. And then we'll get to iron in. So let's do this. So this is a coal pot. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to start the fire in the coal pot and then transfer it to the box ion and then we can start ironing our clothing. So I just have a bit of coal here. Um, that's too much. I just need a little bit. And um, I'm going to use a plastic bag to start the fire. Um, we do it. You can use different things. Some people use... Um, palm kennel the chaff some people use coconuts you can use a piece of paper this is what I have at home right now so that's what I'm gonna use um, plastic plastic bag so I'm just gonna start the fire and then hopefully it works out on the first try but I don't need too much of this so it's a bit windy out today it's really windy. Alright, looks like we may be lucky. Even with all the wind, it seems it's catching fire. So the thing with using plastic is that it causes a lot of smoke. Whereas if you use the palm kennel or the coconut, it doesn't cause as much smoke. Strategically position some of the charcoal so that it catches fire. I'll wait for a while and then transfer it. But it's pretty windy out, so I don't need to fan it or anything. It's gonna, it should work out. So I don't know if you can see the fire in here, but there's some fire. Yeah. So. You can see my black my hands are black <laughs> from the charcoal so I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands and allow this to you know to catch fire the way I need it to huh. all right so I'm back I think we're getting somewhere the fire is picking up like I said earlier using plastic causes a lot of smoke you see that fire, that red fire, fire. I'm gonna rest this right on here and then transfer the charcoal.
I'm gonna add a little bit more because I don't want to waste the charcoal. There's a piece I don't think I should have taken out because I can see it's smoking. I think there's a little of um, the plastic on that piece. But basically, this is it. All right. So we're good. So the charcoal is in here. Yeah. It's getting hot already. I'm going to use this earthenware to starve the, the fire of any more oxygen so that it will go out. So I'm just going to cover it and let it sit. So this does two things. It's going to quench the fire and then also bake the earthenware, which makes it stronger. So I'm just going to leave that to sit. And then we're going to look at the iron and see what's, what's happening with that. This is the shirt that I'm going to iron. I don't know if you can see. It's really crumpled. It's not smooth. And the so I just hope it doesn't do any damage to the shirt. But yeah, so let's go ahead and give this a try. I'm going to iron it inside out because I don't want it to damage the shirt. But then once it doesn't do anything, I'm going to do it the other way as well. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. It appears I'm not very good at this. I didn't think it would be this difficult. <laughs> All right. All right, okay, I'm getting it. So it is ironing, but it's not as smooth as the conventional iron. So I find myself like having to lift it up a lot because I feel like it's really like holding on to the fabric and I don't want the fabric to tear. So, but it's definitely not dirtying up the fabric. It's not, and it is ironing. I think I should have taken it before picture. Of the shirt. It also makes quite a bit of noise. I think I'm getting a hang of it now. think it actually does work I am just not used to it so but I think within these few minutes I'm definitely getting better at it it definitely doesn't stain like this shirt doesn't look stained at all I think I'm gonna change up my technique I'm just going to walk it on there. I'm sure you don't want to see me do this entire shirt. But I, I just want to show you that it does work. Because people do use it. Whoop. Did I burn it? No. It did it. Okay. It's really hot. Alright. I'm ironing the back of the shirt now. Oh. I think I have a hang of it now. Okay. Experience makes perfect. Or practice makes perfect, they say. Okay. I have a hang of it now. All right. Can you tell I'm excited? <laughs> 
so it doesn't stain. I thought it would stain, but it does not. And I think if I do this a few more times, I should be very good at it. Because you know when I started, I felt like it was really like holding onto the shirt, but now it just sort of glides on the shirt. So you can see that, right? Like I'm moving more freely now. All right. We're getting somewhere. <laughs> you see the stand is really helpful because you just like sit it there. Because this is wood, right? It could burn, but you just set it on the stand and it fits perfectly. Okay. Yo, I'm nailing this. I think I'm confident enough now to turn it inside out, but you can see the shirt looks better than when we started. I'm gonna turn it inside out now so that, cause I'm confident it's not gonna stain it. But I can wear this shirt. Like at first I wouldn't have cause it was so crumpled. <laughs> cause I'm very picky about ironing my stuff, but this is really good. There are some parts of the shirt I'm not going to touch because of the artwork. I feel like it would melt. I'm going to bring the camera up close so you can see this. You see this, right? You see what it looks like? You see that line? Let's, let's get rid of it. You see it working? You see that? There we go. So without a doubt, this works. And the ash is not coming out. I thought the ash would really like come out, but it's not. You see the shirt is decorated. I don't want to like ruin that, so I'm just gonna iron around it. Just, just look at that. Yeah. And it sits like neatly just sits on the stand like that then you can lift it right back up Let's go ahead and iron let's see what the fire situation in here looks like it actually feels very hot but yeah so that's what we have going on in there well, that's it if you want to control the temperature you just have to take some of the fire um, the charcoal out and the temperature will slowly reduce I'm pretty much done I am done. I just want to show this to you guys. You can judge that. But it's better than when I... When the, you just go ahead and put this on. Because... It's ironed. And you're good to go. <laughs> yes. So that's it. As you can see, I'm wearing the shirt that I just ironed using the box iron. <laughs> yeah, and I think it did a pretty good job. If I do this a few more times, I think I should be pretty confident. It's very hot. It's really hot. It's very hot. Yeah, but it does the job, I think. And as you can see from the shirt I'm wearing, it did a pretty good job. And it does not stain. Ghana is a developing country, so we have issues with power supply. We do not have consistent power supply and as a result, a gadget like this is very helpful in a lot of communities. My name is Jijo Klake. On social media, you can find me as Adventures of a Guardian Girl. And thanks for tuning in today. Please hit the subscribe button. Please comment. I'd like to hear what you think about this video. And um, yes, I hope to have more videos like this for you guys. This is adventures with a box iron. I believe every day is an adventure so I'll try to bring you everyday activities that are common to Ghana and then all over the world as I explore the world. Thank you for tuning in.